Imagine you receive a simple image from a friend. Maybe it's a funny meme, a cool wallpaper, or even a cute cat picture. You open it without a second thought. But what if I told you that this innocent looking image could be the gateway to your worst nightmare? Yes, you heard that right. Hackers can use images to hijack your phone, steal your data, and even take complete control of your device, all without you clicking a single suspicious link. Sounds crazy? Stay with me, because what you're about to hear will change the way you look at every image you receive. So how does this work? It's called steganography, an advanced hacking technique where malicious code is hidden inside an image file. Unlike a traditional virus, which requires you to download or execute a file, these infected images don't need you to do anything except view them. The moment they appear on your screen, the attack begins. Hackers take advantage of vulnerabilities in image processing software. They inject malicious code into image metadata or pixel structures. When your device loads the image, it unknowingly executes the hidden code, allowing the hacker to access your system. But it doesn't stop there. Some attacks use something called buffer overflow exploits. These specially crafted images trick your device into allocating too much memory, forcing it to execute harmful commands. In just seconds, the hacker gains access to your files, webcam, or even your microphone. And guess what? This isn't a theoretical concept, it has already happened. In 2019, a WhatsApp vulnerability allowed hackers to compromise phones just by sending a malicious GIF. No clicks, no downloads. Just opening the chat was enough to infect the device. Even big companies like Apple, Microsoft, and Google have patched similar vulnerabilities over the years. But for every fix, hackers find a new way in. There's another attack vector, QR codes. QR codes are essentially images and hackers can embed malicious payloads into them as well. Scanning a compromised QR code can lead you to a phishing website that silently installs malware on your device. Also, have you ever received a suspicious email with an image attached? Cybercriminals use embedded malware in email images to compromise entire corporate networks. This technique is called spear phishing, and it's one of the most effective ways hackers breach security systems. Hackers also exploit social media platforms. A simple profile picture update or a shared viral image could be hiding a nasty surprise. Attackers often spread malicious images in comment sections or through direct messages, targeting unsuspecting users. So, what can you do to protect yourself? First, never open random images from unknown sources. If someone you don't trust sends you a picture out of nowhere, think twice before opening it. Second, update your software regularly. Many of these attacks exploit outdated apps and operating systems. Keeping your device up to date closes the security holes hackers love to use. Third, disable automatic image loading in messaging apps and emails. Many platforms allow you to block images from loading automatically. This small step can prevent an attack before it even starts. Fourth, use strong cybersecurity tools. A good antivirus and a VPN can help detect and block malicious content before it reaches your device. Additionally, consider using a secure messaging app with end-to-end -end encryption that doesn't automatically process images. Fifth, be mindful of the websites you visit. Some websites may host infected images that exploit browser vulnerabilities, stick to trusted sources, and use browser extensions that block malicious scripts. Finally, educate yourself and others. The more you know about these cyber threats, the better you can protect yourself and help others stay safe in the digital world. The reality is in the digital world, nothing is ever 100% safe, but with the right precautions, you can stay several steps ahead of hackers. If this blew your mind, wait until you see what else hackers can do with everyday digital tools. Check out my other videos on ethical hacking, dark web secrets, and online security tips to keep yourself protected. Click the next video now. You won't believe what's coming next.